uh, uh, stretch my neck real quick. Stretch my neck. Uh, gotta stretch my neck out for you people right here, right now, today. Hit you guys up with this bleach chapter 504. And it's chapter to get a little bit of story progression because the past few chapters of bleach, we have not been progressing in story. We've been at a standstill. But in chapter to get a little story progression with Yamoto, Satsuki Bay. We see young Yamoto. We see young Satsuki Bay. And we see how Yamoto got his name. How he got the other scar on his forehead, and how we see the connection between Sasuke Bay and Yamamoto, and how they respect each other. I mean, if Kubo were to start building up Sasuke Bay as a character a long time ago, maybe a lot of people, a lot more people, would care about his character. Probably care about his death a little bit more, and start caring about Sasuke Bay as a character as a whole instead of doing it right now. I mean, the only thing we knew about Sasuke Bay is is that he was the right hand man of Captain Commander Yamamoto. That's all we knew about. That's all we knew about. I mean, come on. That's sad. That's that's really, really sad that, you know, that now. I mean, but anyway, we see in the chapter that, you know, Captain Commander, Yamamoto's going at it with the Sturmrunner, I think it was what, Sturmrunner O, I think his name is Overkill, and he, he's like, oh, I got your subordinates Bankai, ain't you pissed at your man, what you gonna do about it? And we see Captain Commander Yamamoto keep his cool, he's calm, got his, com he got, he, he got his composure down. Uh, and if you guys remember, Captain Commander was all pissed out and raised that, yo, he, that Sasuke Bay is dead. Whoever killed him, we're gonna find him and just burn him alive and just kill him. But we see him keeping his calm, keeping his cool. I mean, if he was all raging out towards Overkill, he probably would have a lot of weaknesses. He probably got fucked up because he's so mad and pissed off that he has a lot of openings, a lot of weakness. So he has he kept his calm and cool, which is a good a good way, good thing. Uh, and we see a little little flashback of. Young Yamamoto and, and young Sasuke Bay and you know how they met and how they got this connection. How Yamamoto see great potential in Sasuke Bay and how he respected Sasuke Bay and how Sasuke Bay gave the other scar to Yamamoto on his forehead and how Yamamoto got his name and stuff like that. And you see his saga like because Yamamoto was getting just he was eating. Sasuke Bay's bond guy. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, and his saga is like, oh, Captain Banner, let me come help you. And, and Yamato's like, man, say, what you gonna do about his saga? What are you gonna do? You, you, you got your ass destroyed by this Quincy and you, you think you can save me? No, bitch, I got this. And and Yamato was really like like mad and sad that this guy is in Sasuke Bay's bond guy, and he was like, I know Sasuke Bay is like, is feeling sorry because this guy is using his Bankai and it's so weak. And that's when Yamamoto one swipe turned the Quincy to the ashes, man. He just burned this motherfucker a lot. He just burned him. Burned his face and body. He, he just burned him. And the chapter ends with that. Yamamoto one swipe just killing the Quincy. I mean, we all fucking knew Yamamoto was going to defeat the Quincy. I mean, like, that, was, that was no brainer. It was common sense. Like we all knew, Captain Commander Yamamoto was going to destroy his Quincy easy, with which he did with one swipe, and uh, and that's how the chapter ends. We get to see we got, we got more story about Sasuke Bay and Yamamoto. How he got his name? How he got the other scar on his forehead? And the relationship and connection between Sasuke Bay and Yamamoto, and how they respect each other. And you know, Sasuke Bay was a hard worker, and he he never stopped. He always you know kept on training, and you know. Kubo should have started building Sasuke Bay as a character a long time ago. So people would care about his character and will care about his death and will care about Sasuke Bay a lot more to this day. I mean, come on. Instead of doing it fucking late and doing it now. But that's Bleach chapter 504. What you guys think? What you guys think about young Yamamoto, young Sasuke Bay? What you guys think about the flashback between Yamamoto and Sasuke Bay and the connection and the respect? And. All that jazz, I mean, we all knew Captain Commander was going to defeat the Quincy with ease, okay? So, who else is next on the chopping block? Who else? What's going to happen next chapter? Your thoughts. I'll see you guys later. That's Bleach Chapter 504. Yeah, yeah.